Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, The Star Clairvoyant. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you like my channel, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Love to hear your feedback. Um, this is a general collective reading. Um, it's what do you need to know? So I'm gonna use these tarot cards that have um, messages on them. I can't even speak for goodness sake. So we'll just go from there and then I'll get some more cards and go from there. So, spirit, angels, ancestors. What does the collective need to know? What do the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, don't force anything. And if it's not your reading, I have other readings that you can go have a, a look, a look, see, they're all timeless. What does the collective need to know? So we have the Hierophant. Hierophant is, I have a lot of respect for the elderly and I follow their advice without questioning. I also follow tradition even if it's outdated. So it could be that you guys or someone in your life um, can be very re religious because the Hierophant is a religious card. Also, it could be that some some of you guys could work for the elderly, um, or you look after el um, elders, like you know, grandparents and stuff. And it could be that you have traditional values, like you were brought up to, you know, respect yourself and blah blah blah. As I was. <laughs> what does the collective need to know, spirit? Okay. We have the Eight of Swords. I didn't follow my own inner guidance and now I feel stuck in the mud. It's hard to see a way out when everyone says this is normal. So the Eight of Swords is usually a mental illness card. So it could be that you guys are um, feeling really down at the moment. You feel you could be stuck in a job. You could be feeling stuck in a relationship. Um, so it's just, you can't seem to find a way out of, of this. more what does the collective need to know spirit the devil it's hard for me to face my pain so i indulge in short-term pleasures or substances i know it's not good for me but i can't stop so it could be some of you guys have been brought up very religious or you know old-fashioned parents and stuff and it seems that you've gotten a bit lost in life you're, you're obviously going through some really hard times because the Eight of Swords is, is a card of, of mental conflict, being trapped, um, not finding a way out of this pain. Um, and it's actually the worst card in the tarot deck. So it, what's happening now is that you, the collective, are indulging in things that you shouldn't be to deal with the pain. Um, so, yeah... Uh, what does the collective need to know? So from what I can see as a collective, you're not having a good time at the moment. You have the Knight of Pentacles. I started new routines to make sure I achieve all my goals, to be loyal, responsible, someone you can depend on. Eight of Pentacles. I'm reading more about soft skills and emotions, calls, calls I never had, calls, cause. <laughs> I never had a connection like this and I want to be your stable partner so it could be that you guys are going through this at the moment or you're just coming out of it and now you're starting something new you're starting to get into a routine to maybe not go down the road of um, toxic people toxic substances and um, so you're trying to find um, a way to be more responsible um, and you're, you could be reading self-help books. Some of you could be, be even seeking counselling to get help. So, the, you know, the Nine of Swords on the back of the deck is anxiety. So some of you guys could be struggling with um, anxiety. But I feel like you are going to start coming out of this um, low energy here. And you're going to start focusing on... The good things in your life you know some of you could have e could even be meeting someone that's going to help you with this 
but I'm going to clarify with some tarot cards. I'm going to use these ones. Oops. Let's get the tarot cards and we're going to clarify. Right, Spirit, please clarify the Hierophant. Clarify the Hierophant. Clarify the Hierophant, please, Spirit. We have the Four of Wands. So, um, you know, you've been brought up in a in a way to look at marriage and commitment because the Four of Wands is a marriage card. It's commitment. It's a serious commitment as well. It's family. You know, it's happy home life and that. So, obviously, with that card being respectful, you know, the elderly around you, this is obviously what you've grown up to see. So, it could be something that you're striving to achieve as well. Is something that you could want. Um, as well, like marriage, a serious commitment, a happy home. Clarify the eight of swords, Holy Spirit. We have the nine of cups and the three of wands. So, it could be because this is being stuck in the mud and um, you couldn't see a way out of something. It could be that you were at once, one stage very independent and successful because the nine, um, yeah, you could have been really independent, you know, and your wish fulfillment as well is, you know, you're wishing for some better days. It could, because this is the wish fulfillment, it could either be. It can be a greedy card as well, the Nine of Cups. It could have been maybe some of you guys got a bit greedy, got a bit carried away with something, even in a relationship. Um, but this is a wish fulfillment. This is something that you're wishing for, you know, because you're trying to find a way out of this, this depressive state that you guys are in and you're wanting smoother days. But the Three of Wands is waiting for your ships to sail in. It's waiting for something. It also can be turning your back on something. So it could be... You guys are going to turn your back on the toxic ways to go towards your Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment. Yeah, look, if you look on the bottom of the deck, you've got death. So I do, like I said, I do feel like this is coming to an end. All this trouble, all this mental conflict, you know, the toxic um, ways that you've been dealing with things. So the death is, it's, a, it's an end in its transformation as well. So I do feel like you are going to transform yourself. Clarify the devil. Clarify the devil, please, spirit. To me, again. Clarify the devil. Okay, you want me to come out when I take it. Um, so we have the devil on the back of the deck as well. We have the Nine of Swords, which we've, we had that on the back of the deck as well on the other deck. Nine of Swords is someone that is having sleepless nights. They can't sleep. They're worrying about a lot of things. Um, it's stress. It's not knowing a way out of this situation. It could be keeping you up at night because you've got into some toxic, you may have got involved with toxic people. So, you know, it's keeping you up at night. It's stressing you out. I think it's maybe because you're thinking to yourself, why did I go down this road? How did I get here? Six of Pentacles is balance and harmony. So you are going to find balance in this because this is what it says here as well, you know, making changes. Um, so you are going to find balance in this uh, situation. And it's going to be that it's going to be equal give and take. So you, you know, instead of maybe you, some of you guys took the mick and you were taking, 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 and not giving anything back to people um, or a situation. So now you're going to start doing it equally. So you're going to be giving back as well. Clarify the nine of pentacles, please, spirit. Clarify the nine of pentacles. We have justice. Yes, justice. And the sun on the back of the deck. The sun is um, enlightenment. Says you've you've now woken up to 
what you were doing, what situations you were getting yourself into. Um, it's happiness, it's success, um, it's abundance. Justice is, um, it's like a calm, karma as well. It's an, an injustice. It could have been something that you did to someone or you, they did it to you and that justice is being restored, balance is being restored, like I said there. I'm also picking up that I think this is more balancing out yourself, your inner self, um, realising your flaws, the problems that you may have caused people. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. I'm going to take that reverse because it did it did come out reversed. Um, oh, you have two knights. So what I'm seeing here, the Knight of Cups is someone that's in love, someone that's coming forward with an offer of love. Um, but reversed, it's either. You, you withdrew your love from someone. It could have been that you broke someone's heart or they could have broke your heart um, because you didn't get this offer that, that you want wanted from this person um, and that could have sent you down the road that you're on. Um, the Knight of Cups reverse also can be someone that can be quite cruel. See, now I feel like this is you, the collective, this was you, but this is you now. This is you, the Knight of Pentacles, that is coming forward with some kind of offer. Um, it can be a loving offer or, you know, a kind gesture. It could be friendship. This is the slowest moving energy in the deck. So I feel like it's taken you some time to get to this place because of all of this that was going on with you. So you either are coming forward with an offer to someone or even apologies to people, but it is going to happen. So if this is you on the other end, this person will be coming forward to apologize and give you some kind of offer. Right, I'm gonna end the reading on some oracle cards, let's see. Do we have any messages for the collective spirit regards to this situation? Any messages? Right, we have relief, there you go, nurture and strength. So relief is, I feel like after all this, you're coming out, you're gonna feel a sense of total relief total bliss because if you look at her face she's really like blissful happy and it, it's 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 a it's like a new beginning for you so the relief is that i've left all this behind i'm happy again um nurture so this is taking care of yourself um maybe eating better you could even get out in nature. Maybe, maybe that's what you guys are doing because you said that it said here on the card that you're reading more about uh, skills and stuff. So it could be that you know you're getting more in touch with nature. It could be meditation as well. You know, maybe you need to ground yourself, do some meditation, try try and do some grounding um, and strength. This is you overcoming all these obstacles, all these problems, the situation, and you found the inner strength, and now you've come out of it the other side, a stronger person. So this was a good reading, I enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed it too. So I'm gonna leave it there, guys, and thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you soon, bye.